Yeah, how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate. Namaste. Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your message, all massages, come in, come on, I've got intel, recon is afoot. Energies, up, 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 big cat, I insist. As we dive in, darling, there's an unpack. But bestie, before we press on at a hot trot, can we have a quick chat, darling dears? The word that has been flying around my cranium is it's not where they're at, it's where they want to be. Mm -hmm. Somebody is in a position that they chose, darling dears. Why? Because you wouldn't accept them back, not for all the tea in China. Why? You would have either ended up in prison, the madhouse, or the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't know what to do, darling dears. They would love to heal the situation with you, but they don't know how. How? How? <laughs> I can hear someone say, tell it to the wind. Yeah, tell it to the wind. Mm-hmm. They, told, they chose, right, a situation shit. Yes, that showed them what they lost in you, darling dears. They treated you like a, you was a small fry. Like you wasn't any form of a deal, let alone a big deal, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Thinking about you. They're thinking about you, darling dears, with, with lots of regrets. Especially... If they, if they um, had other lovers or chose to commit to a union, a relationship, possibly even to make you jealous or to make you cray cray and call them back in. Did you call them? No, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> Why? Because bestie, you met me. Hi. And I said F them. F them and whatever they've got going on. Why? They are shepherds of the devil. Mm-hmm. And they took you to the seventh level of Dante's hell. Mm -hmm. They tried to find happiness with a tree sloth, with algae in their fur, a slow-moving Jezebel, darling dears. Yeah, that's a Klingon, someone who is clingy, always calling them, watching them, nervous. Why? Because that person was probably the one they cheated on you with them, darling dears. And if you was married to them, why would they allow that person into their life in a relationship? Didn't they know they was always going to be on a knife's edge, proper nervous, proper perturbed all of the time? That's their business though, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They see that you are setting up some kind of security for yourself, whether you've, you've um, done the work, darling dears. In a sense that you've done some kind of physical change. Maybe you've gone to the gym, changed your hairstyle, lost that weight, or put on the weight. Maybe you was a scale electric when you was with them, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Got that new job. Started that business. Bought yourself a chariot of righteousness. Beep, beep. Mm -hmm. All of this and that, darling dears. They are going through extreme tower moment after tower moment, darling dears. They want things to work with you again. They want you to invite the devil's most ease like Jason from Friday, darling dears. Why would you do it? Why? They are really hurt 
that you you walked away from them darling dears but you are what emotionally emotionally cut off from them you cut them soul ties one way or the other because you understood the assignment all of this crazy making that was happening to you within the bounds of that relationship you had darling dears was because they were still diddling other people bringing back that that jezebel energy into your life many of you were upstanding citizens of society when you met them darling dears and you like a good cat yes because you wasn't big cat then a good cat you tried to bring them up to your level but you have to realize sometimes some people are so ungrateful darling dears when you give them that platform, that foundation, that helping hand, show them the way. You are just what? Building up the foundation for them to what? Put the, fi the final what? Doorbell on or knock her on the door or finish up the situation with someone else. They never respected your presence, darling dears. So therefore, they must respect your absence. Law 16 of the 48 Laws of Power. Never you forget. You see, the thing is, darling dears, you may forget exactly what someone did, but you will never forget how they made you feel. Do you want to feel like that again, darling dears? That is the, that's the job for the person that they chose. The one who knows that their person wants to be with you and knows they can't come back to you. Mm hmm. Your name was bandied around that mud hut many a night, darling dears. And day, you are now the what? The poster girl or boy for everything good in life. Ram down that tree sloth's float on a daily basis. Oh, well. Has come through, what's her name? Keisha Cole. It's not about where they're at. It's where they want to be. Posh, clap. Well, guess what? Let's double down with a bit of George Michael. Because guilty feet have got no rhythm. They know you are not a fool. They should have known better than to cheat a cat. The wasted, wasted chance that they were given, darling dears. So they're never going to dance again. The way they danced with you. Nope, nope, and a nopity nope. You see, darling dears. This is a classic example of when dick dealing goes wrong. When dashing out that panani, darling dears, the black hole of Calcutta goes wrong. What they didn't realize that everybody's got... Listen, if you've got a panani, look how many billions of women have them. If you've got a futum, look how many billions of men have a futum. But it's not about those parts, darling dears. The essence of you. You was an unawoken cat when you met them darling dears possibly in dysfunctional paradigms with your friendships the the um relation um your family relationships maybe even with your progeny darling dears when you met them you didn't see your worth but they saw your worth darling dears they saw you as an opportunity someone to hoodwink you heard the confirmation of the um notification darling dears thank you spirit for the confirmation Do you remember how they made you sweat, made you holler, <laughs> made you lose your breath, made you water, yeah. You have to remember these things, darling, yes, but they haven't forgotten you. They haven't. Let's dive in. We're going to choose a rune stone today. I haven't used them in a while. Find out what's going on, darling, dears. With these feeble-minded simpletons who realize that they what? They dropped a dime piece and picked up a what? A penny on layaway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's press on. I'm using the Chinese numerology grid. Grid. Chinese numerology, which is the low shoe grid. Please excuse me my mixing up of the words. I told you, Mercury retrograde is upon us, darling dears. The pre-shadow, and it kicks off on, on the first. Just the one, darling dears. And he looks more on the one than on the five. Can you see it? 
don't want it to move. Stay there. Using my eyes as soccer pads to keep it in its position. Mm -hmm. The energy of the one, darling dear, speaks about you being on your life purpose. Maybe you've had some form of career change or a promotion. It could also speak about um, starting your own business, but you are definitely on a new path. Okay. The um, positive side of the one. You had to begin this journey with determination that there was no going back. Mm -hmm. The negative side of the one is um, divine spirit is trying to remind you that you have to keep it moving, darling dears, because what a rolling stone gathers no moss. It's not the time for you to be inflexible with all of the things that are being presented to you at this moment in time because it's a new beginning. And it's also a reminder when you see it landing on the one that you should check your birth, your um, life path number, darling dears. Make sure that you are sticking to it to the letter. You may live in the north. This is um, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's missing you like cooked food. Good golly, I can't make it up. Look, this is Gebel. Mm -hmm. Gebel is represented by the lovers in tarot, darling dears. It's the um, Gemini energy of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Gemini is ruled by Mercury energy. Somebody wasn't thinking logically, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about somebody wanting to travel towards you to give you some form of a gift. Okay. Mm -hmm. The energy of Gebo in tarot is represented by the number six. So we're going to be speaking about the sixth house, darling dears. Somebody's looking at your employment. They're looking at your working conditions. Maybe you are a boss, darling dears. Maybe you've had that promotion and you've posted it. Whatever you've done, darling dears. It's about your, your routine, your body, your diet. They're looking at how different you are. But you're not that different, darling dears. You're the same person. But you, what? Love thyself. You've been choosing you. Putting yourself first. You healed the sickness of codependency, darling dears. Somebody's about to start some new training. Go for it, darling dears. You could never have too much knowledge. They should have been a better caretaker of you, darling dears. But they took the... They didn't take the piss. They took a shit in your life, darling dears. They went straight for a shit. Mm -hmm. The energy of the six, darling dears. This could be your birthday, um, a significant day or number in your life. The energy of the six is also the master number 33. You are a spiritual teacher and you are holding that what? Spiritual whip, darling dears. Your name is Kalisi or Carl and he or she who holds the whip runs things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your birthday could be the sixth or the significant number could be the sixth, the 15th or the 24th. The number six rules the letters F, O and X. The number six is ruled by Venus energy, darling dears. Venus is about beauty. It's about abundance. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. Taurus is how you make your money, darling dears. Yes, it does. But it speaks about your talents. It also speaks about some kind of a debt, darling dears. Being in that situation with that person was some kind of financial and spiritual debt, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Venus rules the letters u v and w so we've got u v w as well as f o and x you are a natural born healer darling dears your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be the three six and nine the numbers for you to avoid will be one five and seven the astrological aspect that represents the number six is a sextile this is a supporting aspect it also speaks about the harmonious relationships that are in now in your life darling dears and it also is what the fact that it's a reminder that you have learned from your mistakes. You are more balanced, focused on your responsibilities, being protective of thyself. Um, some of you are more community orientated or you're building your community. Mm -hmm. Okay. As I said, the number six, the Gebo energy. Um, in tarot is represented by the lovers as well as the devil. So somebody who was codependent with, somebody who was abusive, somebody that had addictions, possibly to the S-E-X or the P-O-R-N. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth. Roof, pinkies up. Mm -hmm. The devil in the details. Capricorn energy, yep, ruled by Saturn, which also rules Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you are a natural nurturer, darling dears. They're missing the comfort of your healing energy just by you being around. Why? You are a problem solver. But they're seeing you take care of yourself in a way that you never did while you was with them. Why? They were draining your energy, possibly cheating on you. As I said, bringing back all of these soul ties to put you in an entanglement. What you had when you met them, when you finally got rid of them out of your life, or they left thinking that they was going to replace you for something better. <laughs> better than a big cat, more for them. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to continue to what? Balance your spiritual needs with your emotional well-being. Somebody sees you as home, darling dears. Well, guess what? The home is boarded up and derelict and you've moved to a different secret address called the Bermuda Triangle, as far as they are concerned. Okay. So let's keep that there to remind us. We're going to get out the card to remind us that this is Venus energy that is pushing this read. Venus is about beauty. You may even be an artist or how you perform your work, darling dears, is artistry in motion. Mm -hmm. Venus comes with the, let the big four-letter word, the L-O-V-E. Well, guess what? You're learning self-love. The shell is about behind you. Some of you have been in hermit mode. You're coming out of your shell, darling dears. Your hermit mode is over. Hurrah! But be careful who you mix your energies with. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The energy of the four is about you creating a new foundation for yourself. It also speaks about you being in manifestation mode. They are watching you manifest, build a new structure and bring stability into your life. The number four is ruled by Leo as well as Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. A new beginning for you, darling. Yes, and as I said, you may even be an artist. You may even be an artist that makes sculpture, uses your hands. Well, artists do. Well, they do, don't they? Well, we can have an artist that uses it. Listen, allow me. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Talk about rabbit holes. Have you heard all what's going on with PDD? You must be living under a rock, darling, dears, if you don't know what's going on. But I always tell you, bestie, when they are distracting us with these things, darling, dears, you have to look in the other direction. And what's going on in the other direction? Putin has moved his warships into the Red Sea. Imagine that. In every conversation, he's always been speaking about peace, peace, trying to, to get things to work out, being, being sabotaged at every turn. Now when he speaks, he speaks of war. Mm -hmm. And they want us all to be watching what's going on with PD's. Was it PD? Mr. Take that, take that, these freak off energies. Listen, big cat, prepare yourself because major things are going to be going down around the what? The new moon in the Aquarius solar eclipse. That X that's going to be marked over the US of A, darling dears. Look what happened the other day with that hailstone that took out over a thousand um, solar, solar panels. There is bigger things in this world, darling dears, to be focused on. And one of the biggest things in the world is yourself. You are a light worker starseed, darling dears. You are the karma for everyone. That effed you over, downgraded you, disregarded you. Because I'm telling you, they are all watching. Oh, yes. The hillbilly investigations have been launched in your favor, darling dears. As you live your best life. To the best of your ability. Why? Because you are free like the wind blows. Mm -hmm. So they're watching you, are they? Let's see. Why are they watching you? Aren't they with someone, darling dears? Whoever they settle for that low-hanging fruit, that Jezebel spirit. And as I said, it could possibly be someone that they cheated on you with. Yeah. What's this? You ain't missing out on nothing, darling dears. They're a narcissist and a high commander Decepticon. They thought they won a prize. People don't realise that, especially if you're in a long-term situation or even a marriage. If they're cheating on their marriage partner... Or long-term partner who's poured into them. They're not a trustworthy person. They're low-hanging fruit. Low-vibing fruit. They're the worst type of person. They don't know what loyalty means. But yet they want to come back and be loyal to you. God forbid. If they turn up at your door, you better throw yourself on your knees. And ask God, what have you done to deserve this pestilence on your life again? Mm-hmm. 
What did I tell you about the looks, darling? Oh, did I say that in the Capricorn read? Listen, some of them use their looks and their and their SEX to get what they want, darling, dears. But sometimes when you get that SEX that's so good, it's because they're well practiced, darling, dears. And that's what they use to get you in into an entanglement. But they're, they're doing that same Watuzi on anybody that they can get. Whomsoever they chose, they thung, they thought was better than you. And now they're crying into their fist. They look for you in everyone, darling dears. And trust and believe, they're still interviewing. They've got the unsatisfied eyes. This narcissist having to feed their ego. What's this? Hate that you're happy without me. Well, listen, that was the key to your happiness, darling dears. Getting this pestilence out of your life. Mm-hmm. What's on the base of the deck? Listen. SEX with them was like Russian roulette, darling dears. Russian roulette. Mm -hmm. I know, bestie. That's what their partner's feeling like now, darling dears. Russian roulette. Why? Because they're extra sneaky. They're dissatisfied. Just imagine how your name is being thrown up like deuces at every single turn. Now they both want you. The tree sloth that they chose and the person that you'll never be with again, not even at gunpoint. And if if they do get you again, it's because it's your dead body that they're on. They're a necrophiliac, darling dears. A necrophiliac. What they saw as boring and a waste of time, but yet they wanted to use your skrilla, your knowledge, right? Your caring, your everything. To get them into a position where they were strong enough to cheat on you and expected you to stay there. Cheat on you. Be abusive to you. Bring down your everything, darling dears. The bringer of the darkness. Mm -hmm. All right. They're watching you boss up, darling dears. They're watching you flourish like the what? The sunflower that you are. Or maybe I should say you're a lotus. Yes, you're a sunflower lotus cat. Able to what? Grow and flourish and bloom in the dirtiest of waters. Once you get your mind right, bestie. Let's dive in and see what they... I'm going to get two decks. One for they, them and I'm. And one for you. This is they, them and I'm. And this will be you. Face of their deck, darling dears. They don't want the situation to be over. World card on its forehead, darling dears. On its forehead. They feel as though they've got unfinished business with you. They still feel that you should be a permanence in their life. It also speaks about the lesson that they learned when they lost you. This person wants to what? Travel towards you. But they've got issues, darling dears. Possibly what? Car issues. Maybe it's a distance issue. Or maybe it's the fact that they know that you are a trained fighter, darling dears. And sneaky as a ninja. Mm -hmm. What's on the base of your deck? New opportunities. Helping hands. New ideas. Some of you are looking at your health. I told you this reading is about the sixth house, darling dears. Your health and your well-being. Your body's looking good, darling dears. And it's also about you learning different ways. Because you've done it on the internet. You found different ways. Maybe you're using holistic methods. You're using more natural methods. Maybe you are training with um, natural methods of healing. But it's something that you've worked on daily, darling dears. And guess what? You'll be able to use this service, darling dears, to further your ends. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's going on in the crevice of the devil's balls? The mud hut at 911 Freddy Krueger Avenue, two streets over from the loser lane in the district of the damned. Let's see. What's going on? All they can do is think about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thinking about you single in them streets, independent, looking like money on legs, blood. Yeah. Being drama free. Yeah. They see you single, independent, doing the damn thing, darling dears. Bringing success your way. They look at you and they see you as a picture of health, of lovely, fabulous, gorgeous and loveliness, darling dears. Mm-hmm. They're also realizing that you was the power behind the throne, darling dears. When they was with you, they got that job. Yeah, they got that job, that promotion. They learned to drive. All these things, darling dears, they took, started to take more care, better care of their health. 
Yeah, they're thinking about everything they lost from you. Told you. All they can do is think about you. What's going on with the big cat? You mind your own business, right? Let's give it a quick shifty. Oh, wow. This card don't want a shifty. Let's try it again. Current energy around the big cat. He's minding their own business. Listen. Moon energy, darling, this. This is knowing your worth, but you also know about this mistress. You feel an energy being directed at you, but it's negative energy. You're realizing that you had a lot of people betraying you, darling. There's a, there was a lot of gossip. There was a lot of talk about you, but you knew this. You knew this, that the relationships that you were making when you was around this person or the relationships that you had were codependent. They weren't good, darling, dears, but you was not listening to your intuition at the time. This is what the indecisiveness came in. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. When you see the choppy water, darling, dears, it speaks about confusion, the rocks, is the stumbling blocks, the challenges, the challenging times that you had to overcome. This is a moon card. This is also got a moon in the background, darling, dears. Mm hmm this is the um oh my gosh this is the this is a wedding moon darling dears and the wedding moon is about what introspection yeah a lot of emotions was tied up in that situation you poured a lot of in emotions into the situation you did your everything in some yeah but it was about you not looking at the red flags this person was a hobosexual an opportunist who's all they're doing is thinking about you clarify the nine of peas mm -hmm. and because they're thinking about you all the time they're causing fights in their situation or their situation shit right totally immature darling dears and very abusive emotionally man manipulative Quick with bitter words. Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm What else? And they don't feel successful, darling dears. What was done in the dark is coming to light. Now they're seeing the choices that they made. They must live amongst them. Yeah. Lots of moon energy also speaks about you being highly intuitive, darling dears. You may be high priest or priestess. You may be a tarot reader. You may be in have a spiritual business, but you are definitely tuned in to your spiritual side, darling dears. You had to lean into that to get over the situation and break that soul tie. Yeah, but that bad energy is still being sent your way. Yeah, but you also have news coming, darling dears. When we see the night, the night also speaks about being action orientated. Some news about a journey. Mm -hmm. Because the night is um night of one's fire energy darling dears it also speaks about the summertime something specific in the summertime is about to change call on archangel michael because he rules the um fire energies and it's it also rules the direction of the south maybe you live in the south or this person lives in the south darling dears mm -hmm. this is also about you getting a new lease on life and this is spiritual cards darling dears some of you are listening to your inner voice moving forward but something is coming towards you very quickly look they're thinking about the look they're thinking about how you're independent making your money living the best life ain't going back and forth with no ninja no and you actually are i think some of you don't are underestimating your gangster at this moment in time because you're building you're going to have many options to choose from, darling dears, but you're co-creating this and it's coming in with a quickness. Expect a message. You've got two nights on the tableau, darling dears. Lean in, bestie. Lean in. Mm -hmm. Be very careful because you're definitely going to have to make a choice, darling dears. But Divine wants you to use your intuition. Don't just make a blind choice because the contract that is being offered to you may not be to your liking. Two nights. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, whatever it is, darling dears, it's going to be what? Creating some kind of a new level of wealth. Mm-hmm. Let's go back because all they're doing is thinking about you, darling dears. All they're doing. Okay. 
They hate that you're happy without them. Yeah, what did I say? Lots of, when, listen, they, they, this is somebody who breaks your confidence, darling dears. They get with someone and they wear them out with their words, their actions. They may even have called you to your physical injury that you had to go and see a doctor about, darling dears. The swords, they were quicker than words. This person is a page, darling dears. They always said sorry, just like they're what? Physically abusing the person, as well as mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, darling dears, that they're with right now. Yeah. This is not a match made in heaven. This is a karmic soul tie, where there's a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments, and they've got some form of debt, spiritual as well as physical debt. They are black pocketers, buddy. Have you got a dime? Mm-hmm. I command a Decepticon. This person may have been a husband. Like I said, you may have been in a long-term situation with this person. But they always had a mistress on the side, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They always had someone in the background. They never rated you. But what they're going through is their karma, darling dears. Justice card. Yes! The karma is on the moon, right, or light white on rice. Next to the justice card, this karma is going to affect them deeply for the next 11 years. 11 years of bad luck, bad karma, and they're with someone that they don't like. Look, eight of pentacles on its forehead, darling dears. On its forehead. The eight of pentacles is represented by Virgo as well as the sun energy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the sun represents your heart, darling dears. They feel heart sick. Heart sick, darling dears. Heart sick, or maybe they're having heart issues. The um, sun energy also represents the head, the eyes, their nerves. Their nerves are shot, darling dears. Their nerves are shot. Mm -hmm. Because of the choices that they made. Look. They chose someone who was what? A pretend empress. A fakerzoid. Someone that they thought was going to be better than you. Yeah. That's what they manifested, darling dears. The wrong choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gosh. Big feeling ain't what it used to be. Oh well. Oh well. So how does this person, this, this tree sloth feel? Knowing that their partner wants to be with you. That they regret being with them. That they are just a body double, darling dears. Oh, like, they're like a hole in the wall. Or what? A vet was it? A vacant fatum. Mm -hmm. No emotional alignment. This is a disrupted family, darling dears. Lots of arguments. There's children there. Ten of cups in the reverse. The children may not belong to your partner. Oh, the person that was your person. That's your partner. Poor. Sorry, it was a slip of the tongue. They want to be your partner again, darling dears. But what was done in the dark, what they did. The ones again is the sexual energy, darling dears. It created a lot of unhappiness within your home and the home where they are now. This person is still, the person that they're with, they want to marry them still. But that person will never give them a ring, darling dears. They are, they are future faking in that situation. They're not happy, darling dears. But yet this person that they're with, the tree sloth, they won't give up the situation. They're a codependent.com, darling dears. And they believe that they're not going nowhere. They're, they want to stay there. They want this person to stay with them because they need them. Queen of Swords. They're extremely bitter, darling dears. Bitter. Mm -hmm. They know this person wants to move away from them, darling dears. Offer that cup to you. <laughs> and they know that they're blocked. Yep. Because of what they did, darling dears. Who they chose over you. The situation they went in. They prob you probably told them to... To go, go go forth and multiply or had them escorted off your premises by the pol the police, the popo. Mm -hmm. They quickly got into that situation, darling dears. And now they have to live with the lack that they brought onto themselves. Someone who is needy. Yes, need them for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Verbally abusive. And the pa the, when we see the, the um, pages on their forehead, darling dears, if you got progeny with that person... They're avoiding the progeny because of what they did to you. The progeny remind them of how they, what? Gave you the short end of the stick. This person was never loyal to you. Never. Let's get some more information about you, darling dears. 
Queen of Swords, you got it in the upright. You're not bitter. You are free as the wind blows, darling dears. Queen of Swords is someone you may be over the age of 35. No. Because a woman can be mature of mind from when they're 18, darling dears. Yeah, but the point of fact is you you are able to solve any issue in your life with the least amount of effort. Why? You've got it in the cranium, darling dears. Swords are very spiritual. You listen to that inner voice. This also represents somebody who is divorced. From a situation yeah look page of cups you also have an offer coming towards you darling dears yep coming through very quickly something that you're traveling towards or something that's traveling towards you yeah and it's also telling me that you'll be thinking clearly mm -hmm. that goes to nine of swords because the majority are in reverse it's in the reverse it's not something the offer you're not going to be um going to create if it listen if it creates any stress within you darling dears it's not for you if it's something that's been sent to you by the most high father god mother isis then it won't be stressful darling dears yeah this is again a reminder for you to what stay away from drama be drama free this is your spiritual strength it's also about you moving forward you've been able to control situations not by force darling dears but by how you carry yourself and by how what you want in your hemisphere in your life Mm-hmm. Yeah. The universe is socking it to them and making them be stuck with what they chose over you. The tree sloth with yarn for hair and algae in their fur. Get another card. Because we spoke about the heart in it. Mm. It's all falling out. Okay. You've also got jealous family members, darling dears. Maybe their family members were jealous of you. Maybe their family members helped them cheat on you, darling dears. Their family members were always talking about you and they're still talking about you because even though you've gotten rid of this, this what hex in your life, there was like a hex in your life, darling dears. You had to become obstreperous, noisy and difficult to handle. Their family members are watching as well and they're jealous of what you created, darling dears. Yeah. Because when God bless you, no man can curse you. Remember I told you that? Mm -hmm. Being apart from this person got you closer to God. It did. Mm. And now you're saying, my body, my rules, my decision, darling dears. No more soul ties for you. Hey, hey. Nope. That's a big fat nope. Mm -hmm. You are nothing like you was when you was in the hemisphere, darling dears. You are a new man or woman. You are big cat. Prototype of your lineage, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They are so jealous of you, the family members as well. Good golly and gosh. Mm -hmm. What's this? Yeah, they're watching you celebrate, darling dears. And they realize that your cutoff game is for the gods. We saw the Queen of Swords in the upright. The family members thought you'd still be friends with them. Or the family members may have thought that you would come and cry to them about what this person did. A narcissist? Why would you cry to them about a narcissist? He's probably been whelped at the feet of a, of the, what? The biggest narc of them all. Mm -hmm. We saw that Empress in reverse. That could be their mother. Right? The five is on its face, darling dears. Mm -hmm. So when the five is there, this person is living amongst conflict, confusion. There's instability in their relationship. And all they can do is focus on you. Remember I told you that. What's this? Yeah. They went with any vacant orifice they could find, darling dears. They weren't choosy or picky, right? This is why they got the bad karma. And it also speaks about your siblings, darling dears. Maybe it's your family members and siblings that are jealous of what you are creating for yourself. The fact that you were able to what? Break that soul tie. Love on yourself, Venus energy. Tap into your, your artistic capabilities. Maybe this is what is bringing you your Skrilla. Dot com, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five is um, represented by the letters E and W. A significant day, date or number in your life could be 5, 14 or 23. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five, darling, dears, is ruled by Mercury. So we've got E and W as well as E, H and X. As well as, um, what was it? The six. So it's E and W. E H N X F O X and U V W, darling dears. First, middle, or last name? Yours or theirs? I'm trying to pick this 
up to see what the last card is. Yeah. They're praying hard, darling dears, but they're praying to the devil. And the devil always comes through his due. Mm -hmm. Praying hard to get you. Get you back in an entanglement. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to finish it up with Kipper. I haven't used Kipper in a while. How can you t take a risk and gamble with it? You were so compassionate and kind. But your heart is not closed, darling dears. You are the queen of swords energy, darling dears. You guard your heart, for from your heart springs the well of life. But you're still open, darling dears. Not open in a sense where you can be hoodwinked or bamboozled. You've got your flip-flop of common sense securely on. My right hand is itching me. Skrilla.com is on its way. You guys know I'm a recce master and I can use this energy any way I choose. Take the energy of abundance, darling dears. And it's what? Five oh it was seven, but it went to the eight. So thirteen. Thirteen is the death card, the transformation. Some money that's coming towards you, darling dears. It's gonna transform your life for air. Remember I told you that? Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody's about to go to a distant horizon. Maybe you're going to be traveling to a foreign, foreign land, but it also is the anchor of the past, darling dears. You are not chained or a victim of your past. The three and a six goes to a nine. You brought the situation to an end, darling dears, listening to your higher mind. But all of that dull yellow, yeah, that is going to the orange. That's the envy, jealousy, and hate. People are worried about you, darling dears, what your next move is going to be. Why are they so worried? Some are worried about you, what? Making the kind of move into a relationship, darling dears, with where there is mutual attraction, respect, and someone on your level. Because let me tell you something, cry. Right? When you get with someone who's not on your intellectual, I mean, because you can get someone who's on an intellectual and they can be a narcissist as well. But what I've, I've seen from my own relationships, when, you, when I got with someone who was not on my intellectual level, darling dears, they always felt slighted, so they will find a way to beat you, darling dears, whether it's with their fists or their actions, the cheating, darling dears, the lying, the verbal abuse, the mental abuse, the gaslighting, good God. Yeah, so the next partner you're going to make, darling dears, because you will be going into a relationship, darling dears, it's going to be someone on your intellectual level. Yeah. So keep your expectations high. The two and the eight goes to a ten because that was the ending of the cycle when you chose you. When you realised that it was a never-ending cycle that wouldn't get any better. When we see a window, darling dears, it's a window of opportunity, a portal. Something major is opening up for you, darling dears. And it's always a reminder to what? Keep your expectations high, darling dears. Never you lower your standards for anyone ever again. Because remember what happened the last time. And look, they're stuck with a Jezebel spirit. And the, the child, that the, the Jezebel spirit, is a delinquent, darling dears. Yes. Enlightenment came to them too late. Too late is their cry, darling dears. As all they can do is think about you. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd over to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. Thank you very much for your continued support of me, bestie. Your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your bookings, your donations, and most importantly, your comments. The survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again. On these tarot streets, cat, 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 may your comings and goings forever be covered by the grace of Father God, Mother Isis, and if, if you are ever in doubt, call your 64 ancestors who chose you to be the prototype of your lineage. Be care, wave! No longer a mystery Black sheep is your bird fight It's cold for the one who brings the light I bet if there's a crack You don't fall back Remember who you are No rest for the wicked With their skull degree The use spell workers Projection to send out Envy, hate, and jealousy You are the prototype Your ancestors champion They shield you and send back Those spiritual attacks You are divinely protected From the dummy bats Yeah
Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked or smoke yourself. Big Cat, moving silence. Only time you speak is to say.